Well, I am here at the hospital. I'm gonna go see Paul before he gets his emergency surgery. It is time. They're taking Paul downstairs to pre-op. I don't know if you guys can see me well. well let, me, let me take this out real quick. So we're here at the hospital. Why? Well, uh, uh, let's go through this quickly. Last night at 10 o'clock, out of nowhere, Paul was like, I'm in pain. But he had like a straight face. It was unusual. He was like, I'm in pain. Call my parents. I need to go to the ER. I was just like, it, w it just escalated from zero to a millisecond. I was just like, okay. He never talked like that so I was like this is serious he came I had to stay home with the baby which is perfectly fine you know his parents were there they helped they advocated for him to find out at like 3 in the morning Paul has appendicitis so I am here being the caretaker getting everything ready getting everything situated getting everything arranged because now we have a baby so things are a little bit harder to juggle thankfully paul's parents are babysitting as we speak well i am here at the hospital I'm going to go see paul before he gets his emergency surgery Paul he is in a lot of pain at this point Paul can't really move he's in a lot of discomfort <sighs> he's on the verge of asking for pain meds yes this whole entire time he hasn't had any pain meds he doesn't like taking them at all he doesn't like how they make him feel but he's like if this pain progresses it's time this is kind of new for me and Paul both. I know this sounds weird. I'm usually the one always getting the surgeries. This is Paul's first major surgery in, since he was 10 years old. So he doesn't really remember what it is to get a surgery. And he is right now struggling to mentally prepare. And that is perfectly fine. Everybody prepares mentally differently and some people are okay getting surgeries and some people are not. It's hard on them. For me, I honestly have the mindset that I'm going to have a nice good sleep and then afterwards during my recovery, I am going on a mini vacation. That's how I see it and honestly that mindset really helps me get through it. So I told Paul that and he was just like, I don't know how you do this. You okay? Yeah. The pain's not bad for Paul. Is it the pain? A little bit. I'm sorry. He's crying. So guys, I'm gonna focus on him, but we'll keep you guys updated. Alrighty guys, so it is time. They're taking Paul downstairs to pre-op to get him ready for the surgery. And yeah, sadly his crumbs did act it up because of the stress and anxiety, so he is using the bathroom. But once he's done, Time to go. You got this. You got this. Let's go get stabbed and something big happen. It's your first piece of organ coming up. Maybe you can ask them to save it for you. Remember, I said I wanted to eat mine. Yeah, you want mine as a kite. The good kind.
Paul's recovery room right now. I love these hospital rooms because one, they're big. And two, it's one per person or one per patient. So you're not sharing, which is nice. I know a lot of hospitals have you share, which is perfectly fine. But if you've had ever had an experience like me sharing a hospital room with a patient, it's sometimes not easy. So Paul's not here yet. I love the variety of uh, movies they have here. And then this is his room. We usually would love the Disney fireworks view, but uh, we didn't get it this time, which is fine. It's not even a big deal. And then we have a little mini bed for me, chair. The bathroom's always impeccable. Like it, it looks like a modern designer 2020 bathroom. I love it. Like when you have stuff like, look at that. We never had this before, a fridge, what? You feel like you could take on a bull? Alrighty guys, so Paul is here and he's in recovery mode. Paul, how do you feel in one word? Decent. There you go. I'm not going to have him talk too much because, you know, he just got out of surgery and he needs to relax. Mm -hmm. And I am his caretaker, so I need to put my focus on him 100%. So guys, this is where we ended. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe and continue watching our adventures because as you guys can see, Something new pops up each and every day. We just got to roll with the punches and do it with a smile and say, it's life. What else can we do except roll with it? So guys, for now, adieu and goodbye.